you know that Lake Tahoe is 22 miles long? The greatest depth is 1,645 feet. I'm super excited to be partnering with Clearly Tahoe today to bring you an unforgettable experience on Lake Tahoe's crystal clear waters. Their glass bottom boat is the perfect way to discover the hidden treasures beneath the surface and I can't wait to share them with you. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. In North Lake Tahoe. It snowed last night and it wasn't supposed to snow last night. It was supposed to snow yesterday during the day. So now there's snow on the ground. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. heat up because there's still ice on the window and I don't know why I didn't think about this but the windshield wiper fluid is frozen <laughs> California girl right here um, it's frozen so I can't I don't feel like running back down those stairs to get the scraper to scrape the window there is I can see through it but I don't know what's gonna happen when I, once I start driving so I'm um, to be safe I'm gonna let the car heat up before I get on the road because I don't want I don't want to have to pull over the mountain the, the road is really like it's small and it's not a lot of shoulder to pull over on and this is last night was my first time driving in the snow and it had barely started snowing and i was like let me get my butt in the house because traveling alone and being by myself it's not a good idea to explore dangerous new experiences if i was with someone and there was you know if there was someone with me i might be a little more adventurous when it comes to stuff like that but because i'm by myself and i really don't have a big lifeline I have to you know I have to travel smart and do things that are going to make sure that going to ensure my safety so <laughs> I drove last night but I only drove to get home and then I got here and I kept my ass here no it's still frozen but I think the car is heated up enough it's not even an old car. I think this car is like a last year or something. So it's not old. I just want to make sure that I'm safe. Driving for 20 minutes maybe. I have 20 more minutes to go. It's a 40 minute drive, the lady said. So I forgot my coffee. Can't think of everything. I forgot my coffee. So apparently there's a Starbucks right in the same area where the, the pickup spot is. So. I left super early so that I get there with about 30, 30 minutes so that I can get something to eat and get my coffee and be bright eyed and bush tailed <laughs> for this trip. I honestly do not know what I did with my other shades and I can't risk going on the boat with these. So hopefully I they're in my bag or something and I find a barber put them in the middle console or something. Otherwise, I need that sun gonna be in my face because I'm not taking these. I'm not, mm -mm. These will not be on the boat. <laughs> Enjoy some of these views.
don't think that I've ever been so happy to see a freaking Starbucks. I think I'm the only single. Oh, we're singles too. Oh, you are? Oh, okay. Yeah. You guys are here. Yeah. Don't play with it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Real quick. Oh, who, me? I want to go first. Uh, who first? Very warm. What if you get in there and it is really warm? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Double, double. Thank you. Yeah, 
Jawohl. Let's get some fun facts from Geo about the lake. The yeah, Desolation Wilderness is a cool area where it was filmed. It's, uh, it's also one of the most densely concentrated areas of all the Indians. Where? Uh, Desolation Wilderness, those the mountains over there, uh, a couple hundred acres of land. Uh huh. And, uh, the reason that bald eagles like it so much is because there's a lot of ospreys there. The ospreys build a uh, big, big nest. And the eagles don't like to go in there, so it's fun. The eagles they take their nest? Pick the ospreys out and take a hold of the nest. I always think it's funny how they're on that little bird and they're overtaking everybody's land. <laughs> <laughs> That's ironic. Like we do. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? That's a whole person. I thought they were like cats. Back in like 16, a long time ago. Actually, he started doing it a lot back then, all sorts of things. And they found the easiest way to introduce beavers into a lake was to drop them off the plane with parachutes. Humans are weird, man.
No idea they got that big though. Now I have to look up big beavers. See that white disc? It's kind of like the clarity of the water. Right now, this year it marked about 75 feet, 70 75, depending on the area. When I first started doing it, though, it was getting numbers of 100 up to 120 feet deep. Wow. See. <laughs> Thank you. It's you know it's um that Insta 360 selfie stick. Oh. It turns into a tripod and it's and it's invisible. Oh really? Yeah. So when you see the picture, it it looks like a drone shot. Oh. You should look into it. It's like the 360 best camera. Is it, right? Mhm. Mm yeah. It's like the best camera. Oh. And you can upload. You, have you ever seen like the 360 shots like on on YouTube and stuff? Yeah. Or like like Google Earth, how you can like spin it around. Oh. It's like that. Oh cool. Yeah, it's really cool. They're not they're not too expensive either for what you get. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm a vlogger. That's why I have it. So, so um, and I snowboard, so it looks really cool when I'm snowboarding because it looks like I have a drone and you can actually see me like my whole body instead of just like you know right here, so you can see everything. Or in front of you, mm -hmm. and then it gets really high. It's the higher, the better, you know, if you want to. Yeah. But it's it's for your business, for your business definitely. A really good idea. If you give me your email address, I can send it to you because it it gets it's gonna literally get everything. So it'll get you guys. <laughs> yeah, no problem. to any of the little girls out there who want to do stuff and have 
stuff that's considered out of the ordinary or something that you wouldn't do by yourself, just go fucking do it. Just go do it. And then maybe you can inspire people like you who are adventurous and have that burning desire to do something crazy or burning desire to do something that no one else in your family does or no one else around you does. Be a pioneer. Why not? There's no reason why you can't. You're the only person. You're the only thing in your way. The only thing in your way. first time ever kayaking and it will not be the last. Freaking rocks. Yeah. Whew. 
so peaceful out here. I get it. <laughs> I so get it. I wish I could take my shoes off, but I'm a candy ass. Because <laughs> it's so cold. Some people are in the boats with no shoes on. No judgment, but I can't because I'm cold. Bring you a link if you like this picture, you put it in your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
get away from the shore. <laughs> Here I am, almost on the shore. like this or my knees are crossed it's easier to paddle because I can push against the back of the seat but but your legs get tired so straight is always better I like to cross my legs but of course my feet also I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you guys enjoyed this clear bottom Tahoe as much as I did. My recommendation, take the 11 o'clock. The 9 o'clock, it was okay, except for the water was just wasn't as clear. You can see as well. Now that the sun is out, you can see better. And it's a little colder, but that's the only difference. But if you can, take the 11 o'clock. Originally, it was set, mine was set scheduled for 11, but they had to reschedule it because of the weather. What do you think? Huh? What do you think? That's it for today's adventure on Lake Tahoe with Clearly Tahoe. I hope you enjoyed this experience just as much as I did. It's definitely been one of the highlights of my trip. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Don't forget to comment below, like, and subscribe. Till next time, guys. <laughs>